what do you want to be when you grow up? And she said, I want to be paid. She wanted to be her big sister. Blonde hair, blue eyes, lover of Grateful Dead, and yoga. These are a few things that describe Amy Copeland. Last week, the psychology graduate student was riding on a zip line at West Georgia University. Now, she's at Joseph M. Still Center, fighting for her life. Her condition is still critical. Um, right now, she's relying completely on a ventilator uh, for, for life function and to breathe. Um, if they were to unhook the ventilator, I don't know that she could breathe on her own. This serious and painful virus is spreading throughout her body. Doctors have already had to amputate her left leg and is now taking aim at some of her other toes and her fingers. Her family fears telling her the truth about her condition while she is fully awake. It's horrific and, and um, how this happened is just mind-blowing to me. It's just mind-blowing to think that just a week ago you know, our daughter was fine. With sleepless nights causing extra strain, it's hope and their daughter's story that is giving Amy's parents and the rest of the Copeland family courage. She's a living testimony for what pain and suffering is all about. Uh, people will really be tuned in to her message. And, and I just believe that she's going to reach a lot of people um, who, who are out there suffering. And, and, and this is going to be extremely uh, useful, I believe, in, in the generations ahead. Immediate blood transfusions on the flight from Carleton Hospital near Atlanta to Augusta is what saved Amy's life. Her dad is encouraging the CSRA to get out and help. Whether it's plasma, platelets, red blood cells, get out and uh, support your community. This is the best way you can do it because we've got the best hospital that I've ever been in right here in Joseph M. Stills. Paige, Amy's sister and best friend, is not giving up on her anytime soon. The most important thing is we're not going to give up on her. So she doesn't need to give up on herself.